In this video, I'm going to go over a quick overview of how to use formulas in Microsoft Excel. Now, one little tip here before we get started is if you ever want to expand the screen and make it bigger, I know my I'm a little bit older and my eyesight's going, I like to make the screen a little bit bigger. If you head down to the lower right, hopefully that'll show it on the screen, but there's a little toolbar down here, not a toolbar, but there's a little bar, and you can simply drag it left to expand it out, make it smaller, I'm sorry, we can drag it right to really make it large, it's the zoom feature, and I'm going to make it to about 400% of its normal total so we can see it. Okay, let's say that you had a store and you sold widgets. So I'm just going to type in a little sheet here. This is widget A. This is widget B. And these are Monday's totals, Tuesday's totals. And instead of typing all the days of the week, I'll just end it right here and we'll put in the total. Now your responsibility as office manager is to add up the sales for the week. So let's just put in some numbers. On Monday you sold, let's say you sold four of the widget A types. And the widget Bs, you sold six of them or seven of them. And then on Tuesday, sales picked up and you sold eight of the widget A's and you sold 10 of the widget type B. Now, you certainly wouldn't want, if you had a large spreadsheet, you wouldn't want to go manually to add up totals in your head or calculator and type them in. You could certainly do that. You could type in 12 and all is good. But the beauty of using Excel is that it'll actually add up things for you, for you using a feature called formulas. And the way you use a formula, you always must start with an equal sign. Whenever you type in equals, the equal sign, it's telling Excel, hey, I'm about to type in a formula. Now the most basic way to make a formula in Excel is to put equal sign and then if you know what cells you want to add up, in this case cell B2, you simply type in B2, put a plus sign, and then I want to, I want to add up C2, so I type in C2, I hit enter, and lo and behold, it automatically puts the total in there for you. And one thing I want to show you is when you click on the active cell where there's a formula, if you go up here to the formula or the functions bar, you can actually see you can actually see the formula behind it. You don't see the number 12, you see the formula behind it. And this is where you can make modifications. You can you can erase things, add things, whatever you might want to do. Now let's say that you want to add up 7 plus 10, Monday's widget B totals and Tuesday's widget B totals. Well, one thing you can certainly do is type in equal sign and you can manually type that in. But there's a better way to do this. There's something called the fill handle. And the fill handle will copy formulas from one cell to the next. So you don't have to keep retyping things. And it also does another nice feature, which I'll show you in one second. The fill handle can be found at the very lower most right part of the active cell box. The active cell box is the, always the one that's outlined in black. And it's not, if you notice here, you normally, whenever you're over an active cell, you can see a large fat plus sign. Well, when you, when you want to get the fill handle, you have to get it, you have to hover over the lowermost right part of the active box until you get this little skinny plus sign. And if you simply click on your mouse, you hold down your mouse and you drag it, watch what happens. See how the number 17 there? It automatically adds 7 plus 10. But let's, let's go up to the formula bar and see what actually happened. It actually created the formula B3 plus C3. And the reason why that's critical for you to understand is in this particular one, in the first formula that we created, it's B2 plus C2. Whenever you use the fill handle and drag it down, it thinks that you don't want to use the same formula. You don't want to add up this cell and this cell to put it there, it thinks that you want to just logically add up this row and th this cell and this row and then this cell. So it ad automatically adjusts the formula for you. Now if you wanted to go ahead and that wasn't quite correct, you can manually go ahead and change things in here. That's fine. But the fill handle will drag down formulas and actually do a quick adjusting for you thinking that you want to add up the next row. It's a really neat feature in Microsoft Excel. 